we want to find the eigenvalues of the given 2 by 2 matrix. If we let A be an n by n matrix, then the number lambda is an eigenvalue of A if and only if the determinant of lambda times the identity matrix minus A equals zero, or equivalently, the determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero. Let's go ahead and use this equation here to determine the eigenvalues. So we'll have the determinant of lambda times I, because matrix A is a two by two matrix, would be lambda times the two by two identity matrix, and therefore this matrix is lambda times I, so the first row is lambda zero, and the second row is zero lambda. Then we have minus the given matrix A, So to find the eigenvalues, this determinant must equal zero. Let's go ahead and write the determinant using vertical bars, where the first row would be lambda minus negative 22, or lambda plus 22. And then we have zero minus three, so here we have negative three. The second row, we have zero minus negative 123, that's positive 123. The last element is lambda minus two. So the value of this two by two determinant is this product minus this product. So our equation, called the characteristic equation, is the quantity lambda plus 22 times the quantity lambda minus two minus negative three times 123 equals zero. Let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials. So we have lambda squared minus two lambda plus 22 lambda minus 44. And then here we'll have minus negative 369 or plus 369 equals zero. So combining like terms, we have lambda squared plus 20 lambda plus 325 equals zero. Let's continue solving this equation on the next slide. Because there are no factors of 325 that add to 20, this is not factorable, so we'll have to use the quadratic formula in order to find these solutions. Where a equals one, b equals 20, and c equals 325. So of course, instead of x, we'll have lambda. So we'll have lambda equals Negative b would be negative 20, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that'd be 20 squared, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is 325, all divided by two times a, which would be two times one. So simplifying, here we have negative 20, plus or minus the square root of, this is going to be 400, minus 1,300, all divided by two. So lambda is equal to negative 20 plus or minus the square root of, this is gonna be negative 900, divided by two. The square root of negative 900 is equal to the square root of 900 times the square root of negative one, which equals 30i. So this simplifies to negative 20 plus or minus 30i divided by two. Breaking this up into the real part and the imaginary part, we have lambda equals negative 20 divided by two plus or minus 30i divided by two, which equals negative 10 plus or minus 15i. So we have two eigenvalues, lambda one, is equal to negative 10 plus 15i, and lambda two is equal to negative 10 minus 15i. But if we go back to the original question, I believe we're only supposed to enter a and b, and so we're told here the eigenvalues are complex numbers, when in our case, a is equal to negative 10, and b is equal to 15. So notice how we don't enter the plus or minus, or the i, we're only entering the value of a and the value of b. I hope you found this helpful.